Hi Chelsea. Hi Chelsea. I'm also from Bulacan. Lahat na taga Bulacan. I announced the festival of Bustos. My question is, your true to life story is very is very good movie material. If it will be adapted into a movie, what title would you like to be used? Who among our actresses would you love to play Chelsea and Manal? Oh. Wow. Um, this should be um, a life story of you know. Maybe a princess diary. Princess diaries. You know, she has not actually seen herself to be a princess. I actually love watching this movie as well. She never thought she was going to be a princess. So I, that was who I was, you know. But because of her mother, who who helped her, who who loved her so much and dearly, um, she became one, you know. And she never changed herself. She never looked at her crown because of what can honor her for, but because of what she can do more, you know, what she wants to be. And if there is an actress, maybe, I, I want to be, I want to see Naomi, you know, Naomi Campbell. Yeah. Many people see it in me. So, yeah. <laughs> and who will play Mama G? Last question. Mani Halasan, is one of the persons in the universe who is dearest to your heart. Uh, what is your message to him? And you, can you kindly tell us how and when you met him? We met actually um, when I was about to join for Miss World, for Miss World 2017. Um, he was one of the designers that one of my friends actually offered or recommended. So we met during that time. It went way, way back. So he supported me. He is actually a jewelry and um, accessory maker. Yes. But when he saw me, actually, he, he said that, oh, there's a potential there. He loves dressing up women as well. So he designed my dress during that time. And when I said to, to him that I want to join Miss Universe Philippines, he was the most supportive. He was there throughout my journey, um, through uh, the whole journey of Miss Universe Philippines. He helped me get through it, and he said that, you know, I'll be there no matter where you are, and through Mexico, I'll be there as well. He helped me through my national costume and for my evening gown as well and preliminaries. He was my designer all throughout, so I love you, Puya Mani. Thank you for believing in me. I couldn't have made it this far without you. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hello, Chelsea. Hello. I'm Anna Lynn from Manila Philippines. And we also come from I really did trust Kuya Mani for his design and his concept. I think he also saw the styling that was really meant for me, which is, you know, she's someone who is very simple, really regal, um, she's humble, but she is ready to win a crown. So that is the inspiration to it. Um, there is also a little bit of jewelries on the um, the middle part of it, so that you know there is a little reminder of where I came from, and that is from Make a Wine, where uh, many are known for jewelry makers. So Chelsea, yeah, the second question, because you did not figure um, in the like special awards or even yeah. the top picks of forecasters, front runners. You were a dark horse, sorry. Um, I just like to ask: Did you ever doubt yourself at that point that you were not, you know, the uh, favorite? 
Okay. Well, this was always asked, and I would like to say that there's no such thing as any dark horse naman for this season. I mean, it's a bloodbath that they say, but it's more than a celebration of women. Because everyone really deserves it. Everyone is so beautiful. So during this time, sabi ko, I want to compete. I want to compete fairly. I want to compete at my best. You know, just do what I do and, you know, I'll be as most authentic as I can be because if I can stick to that, to that person, I'll get through the crowd. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Josie. My name is Mickey from Ella Stagger. Hello. And I'm not from Bulacan. <laughs> you know, you know. Well, for, well, I'm South from, from South Triangle. Uh, well, first of all, um, well, congratulations to you, so Sean, during that night. Let's go back to the, the pageant night. Um, what was going or running through your head when you stepped closer to the crowd? First, when you were called in the top 20, then top 10, then top 5. So I'll go through it. Maybe when, um, when they called me for top 20, I, I remember I was the second to the last that was called. I was feeling nervous already. I was uh, standing there and I told, my, told to myself, when are they gonna call Bulacan? Why, why is it taking so long? But when they actually called it, I said to myself, okay, finally I'm gonna step forward. And then I said, okay, maybe I, I can go to top 10 now. Because to top 10, I'm okay now. You know, at least there is a, a placement to it. But, you know, I still stepped up. You know, I struck my way through the swimsuit competition. And then after calling to top five, I said, it's the crown earned, you know, nothing at all. Mm. So it, it was really destined for me, I guess. I prayed so hard and the people